Yeah. In the remaining couple of minutes, I want to explain to my dear and beloved brothers and sisters, the word risk or provision does not only refer to money, bank account, nice house, nice clothes, jewelry, riches. La. There are a variety of provision. Everything we have is risk. Life is risk. Beauty is risk. Health is risk. Subhanallah. As I uh, walked into the ICU with my mother and I saw people literally dying one after another. The person to her right, uh, you know, as everybody in the ICU, they are separated with curtains. You see, the, the person to her right hand side expired. May Allah have mercy on him. And the lady to her left hand side, you see them dying. You see their health being deteriorated big time. You know, health is a ni'mah and it is a great blessing. It's a risk. Somebody may be given a couple million bucks, but they will be devoured in treatment, in medication. And this is what many people do not get it. So, you know, when you get it from haram, it will be wasted on treatment, whether yourself, God forbid, or your children or your loved ones, it will be consumed, but you're still blameworthy for earning that provision unlawfully. So when you think about it and say, look at yourself, when somebody is complaining and saying, you know, Allah has taken everything from me. I'm the only poor person in the family. Somebody sat with him and said, but I see you a millionaire. He said, and how do you see me a millionaire? I don't even have money to buy a single meal. I don't have money to put bread on the table for, for myself or my family. He said, subhanAllah, would you sell me one of your kidneys for a hundred grams? He said, no. What about your lungs? Would you give me your heart for a million? Of course not, because if I give you my heart, then I would die. Would you give me one of your eyes? Would you give me, would you give me? I said, I see Umar, inshallah, a multi-millionaire. You see how many blessings, how many provisions that we enjoy, but we only look for what others have and we're missing. We don't do the other way around. We don't look for what others are missing and we have. When you compare yourselves to those who are less fortunate than you, you say with full confidence, with heart full of iman, you say, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, thank you Allah, you've given me everything. When you are in a test like that, you only really focus on one thing, Ya Rabb, save me or save my loved one, and I would quit the haram, I would stop sinning, I would do this and this and that for you. Why? Because you're in a situation where Allah reminded you that you have many risk, but you are negligent of the duty of thanking Allah for this plenty of risk. وَمَا بِكُمْ مِنْ نِعْمَةٍ فَمِنَ اللَّهِ Whatsoever you have, whatsoever you are enjoying of a blessing is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah guide us to what is best. May Allah make us thankful to Him. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us only earn lawfully and spend in lawful means. Allahumma ameen. And divert us from the haram. Keep the haram away from us. Make us hate the haram. Make it impossible for us to earn unlawfully. Allahumma ameen. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum.